Here's something that I love that we were kind of given something, given problem solved as a prompt, if you will. <laughs> it was like, here's the title of the show. Mm -hmm. Here's loosely what we think it should be. Yeah. Much different Car than what we were doing. At Carry the, time. the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, problem solved. Let's talk about it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is problem solved? Well, I, it's funny. It's been many things, especially for me, because mm -hmm. in the beginning, I was just a producer on Problem right. Solved. I yeah. just kind of came up with ideas, passed them along, and mm -hmm. you would shoot them. Well, I would we, go we're prop all shopping. contributing. Yeah, yeah, at we that, all contributed. And this was let's let's rewind to all to a much simpler to time. <laughs> Uh, to an office high-rise building with the 18th floor. <laughs> this no. was, well, because there's been different iterations of our, I don't know, our job. Yeah. Well, we've had the same job, but the our duties have changed, right? We've had different um, video projects to work on. So the time we were given, I guess, problem solved. Um, the show was much different. It wasn't hosted. It was... Text on screen with, uh, with stock images, stock footage, stock footage. Um, and again, this was years ago. This was beginning of pandemic. So yeah, but a little pre pandemic. This was pre pandemic. Like, yeah. a, like probably like a good four, four mm -hmm. months, two, three, four yeah. months before. And then by the time it really took hold, at least the pandemic, then we were, um, I don't know. Did we take it upon ourselves to interject our own? personalities into that i think, I think we did. that's how it went right here's what i appreciate about you specifically because mm -hmm. i think you're one of the driving forces in this is like Thank you. is is, <laughs> is, is I, me not, is not the, the growing host. to be better mm -hmm. growing you know changing for the better and over several years of doing this it's mm -hmm. been an evolution and i think a lot of that evolution is forced a lot of it has mm -hmm. been us reacting to things where we're like, oh, mm -hmm. we've got to change and grow and develop because external forces are right. telling us to. But mm -hmm. then I think a part of our career has been, how do we grow? How do we learn more? How mm -hmm. do we make the visual quality better? Yeah. How do we make the topics better? Mm -hmm. How do we make the hosting better? So we've always been driven by changing things, mm -hmm. but not just changing things to change them, but changing right. them for, so that they're better. Definitely uh, quality is something that we focus on. Like I'm like visual quality. Um, we, I went to film school, right? Same. Like most of us <laughs> went to film school. So it's, it's very interesting working uh, like for a company that doesn't necessarily have an emphasis on high quality video, but content is king, right? So a lot of the videos we do are around uh, topics that a lot of people have an interest in it could be trendy topic but usually it's something that like useful information mm -hmm. um, but it's interesting how like now we get to basically um like have fun but in the way that we want to have fun so for yeah. me it's like i have fun i don't know messing with lighting so different episodes might have a different look and it's evolved from the very beginning um, a lot of it has to do with like the different locations we've been shooting in. Sometimes we're outside, sometimes we're inside. We might be in a kitchen, we might be in the garage, we might be, you know, we're all over the place. All over the place. <laughs> uh, but it's it's fun, obviously. Like I said, for me, um, having to be able to play with lighting uh, and different camera techniques and everything, uh, which is the interesting part of just getting into this new age. Like we were talking earlier today about being like millennials where oh, everything's yeah. online. It's like all the content is online, social media mainly. So it's very interesting going from film school where everything's very like, you're talking about like cropped images, right? Very like uh, widescreen because that's mm -hmm. what a film, you know, is very widescreen going to vertical, you know, content. Yeah. So finding a way to kind of double dip because the content we make, we kind of crop it. So we have different platforms we're delivering, you know, vertical and horizontal content. Yeah, we play in all the sandboxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then for you, Aspect ratio -wise. it's like you're you're a host now. I'm a host now. <laughs> you went from producer to host. It's, it's, yeah, that's been a fun trajectory. I think it's been the hardest thing about creating Problem Solved mm -hmm. is it was never being comfortable on camera. It was... It was kind of like what all comes with that, mm -hmm. you know, like me being on camera, I think we've always dabbled around with throughout our career yep. together, but being a host and especially on social media and having people comment and <laughs> having people critique you, <laughs> critique and having people like you and mm -hmm. having people want to talk to you and yeah. say hi, because you make this thing that yeah. they enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's been the struggle for me. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. I appreciate the audience, but 
it's such a weird thing to have people recognize yes. you and yeah. and respond to what you're creating because mm -hmm. I've been used to my whole career being like behind the scenes, yeah, anonymous. Yeah. Which I actually still appreciate. Obviously, now I'm you know in front of the camera, <laughs> uh, much much more used to being behind the camera. Um, but that's you know things. The way it is today, it's like content. You just need to keep making content. So mm -hmm. even this, this is content that's going to be live, but more obviously your channel, um, but a little bit behind the scenes. Like but, how how do we do what we do? And that's one thing I've started to love more about Problem Solve, especially since we have so many episodes, so much experience behind our belt is mm -hmm. the behind the scenes, how it's made, like, yeah. you know, what goes into making it, you know, for content creators as content creators, you know, Problem mm -hmm. Solved at its core is just a how-to show, you yeah. know? It's mm -hmm. like pretty simple, but I think there's so much that we put into it because we're passionate about filmmaking, mm -hmm. we're passionate about content creation, and for me specifically, I wanna make it fun, I wanna enjoy right. what I'm doing. That's yeah. why I got into filmmaking. Mm -hmm. You know, I mentioned Sandbox earlier, but I got into filmmaking because filmmaking is a playground, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, there's technical aspects, yes, there's professional aspects, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I just wanna be a kid playing, you know? Yeah. I just want yeah. to experiment and explore and mm -hmm. use what's around me to tell stories. Mm -hmm. So I try to pull as much of that into problem solve day to day. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at it as content, as work, as like, what do we get to do today? That and is, yeah. It's interesting to talk about like the job aspect versus like the fun aspect of being able to kind of like play with our own like imagination yeah. at a certain point. Um, I really enjoy that aspect because we, it's not that, you know, we have full creative freedom. We still have things that we have to do. Um, but the fun aspect of like, I don't know. It's like when your hobby is your job, mm -hmm. it's like, are you even working kind of thing? Which like, obviously we are. It is hard work. Living Very long days. Like some some days, like we might start shooting, like we, we might start setting up lighting depending, you know, eight o'clock, whatever it is. But then some days we're wrapping six, 7 p.m. Like mm -hmm. it can be a full day shoot sometimes. Um, and we don't even so, realize it sometimes. Sometimes yeah. you're at the end of the day and you're like, how the sun is down. That's right. odd. <laughs> yeah. It's because we're shooting in controlled lighting and I have no clue lighting, what time yeah. of day it is outside. Yeah, we will we block have a out microwave windows. <laughs> that never tells the correct time. Mm -hmm. So I really have no clue what time of day it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did I want to ask you? I wanted to ask you just kind of what's changed in your visual approach to problem solved? Visual? Well, I think I, I definitely um, am tempted to like get inspiration from like movies uh from like older movies um but a lot of it is more like efficiency at this point because in the beginning of problem solved it was kind of fun to like play around with different lighting techniques because it was an opportunity that we didn't have before mm -hmm. um in the past what we used to do we used to go and like do interviews of you know certain people all around the country and it's very different when like in one situation you're kind of thrown into like a random room it's like okay we're going to be filming at a mm. house we don't know what it's going to look like we have equipment we're just going to do the best we can when we get there right adapt to the situation mm -hmm. yeah but in this scenario where problem solved we've been doing it for you know a couple of years pretty consistently um in certain locations and the fun part for me is trying to figure out different lighting styles within that space because i'll get bored <laughs> after a certain certain amount of time it's where i'm like you say mm. that i'll pick back up on yeah that later. which anyways. it's not boring like obviously creating the content is fun but for me like knowing like after i've like done my job of lighting i'm like well i kind of want to like tweak it because i'm just interested in making it look a little bit different whatever it is so i do get a lot of inspiration from obviously imagery online could be photos uh, could be movies that i might be into at the time but at the end of the day pretty much efficiency. So in the beginning, um, a lot of the lights were a little bit closer. And when you have lights close to your subject, you can really kind of control where that light is hitting. Mm -hmm. When you pull the lights away, then that's when it's really difficult to kind of control the shape of the light. But nowadays, I have pulled the lights further away, but only because, um, like depending on what the set is, if it's a kitchen set, we need more room to roam. Oh yeah. <laughs> so having a, like... like an even exposure or at least the correct exposure um, as you can go like all around the set, basically, it's going to be a lot easier for me because in the past I would have to kind of move lights every time we needed to reposition something. And I remember those days where was... I'm just like, 
It was fun. Waiting. Yeah, it was fun. I appreciate all your energy and effort, right. <laughs> effort David. I know you're into lighting. I know you're mm-hmm. into all this stuff, but like, yeah, here we go. Just being <laughs> like patient. Let's go. Yeah. But yeah, you have simplified things mm-hmm. where we can move around our space a little yeah. bit easier. We can, yeah. So it's, like I said, it's it's very much still um, like an interest. Like I'll, I'll watch movies and be like, man, that looks really cool. And then, you know, geeking out over lighting ratios and yeah. like literally taking screenshots, pulling them into like Photoshop on my phone and with a color picker going around and be like, oh, okay, that's... You're so technical, like, Yeah, no, like the shadows are sitting at around okay, 30%. Right? And I just you know? nod. I, yeah. I have a deep appreciation for this stuff, mm. but as somebody whose skills and talents come from, you know, other places, yeah. I'm like, okay, yep, yep, I know. Yeah. Color's got to be right. This Which has got to be it's, right. It, it's, it's interesting because it's gotten to a point now where the one-man band is looking over a lot of... Um, like small things that used to be taken up, like whole departments used to be just audio, a whole department for camera, a whole department, you know, and now all that is kind of sitting on my one camera. So like you're obviously mic'd up straight to the camera. So I'm monitoring audio, I'm monitoring obviously the camera, Um, but then getting exposure correct, depending on what, you know, where we are, uh, close-ups, all that stuff. But that's where the traditional filmmaking and like that fun comes Mm -hmm. from. This brings up something so interesting about problem solving and what we do, especially from my perspective, is we are at such a weird intersection of content creation and video Mm -hmm. creation. We come from film school backgrounds. Mm -hmm. We had passions in our youth, in our youths. (laughs) What, to make like feature films? To, to, yeah, feature films, Mm -hmm. all this, uh, you know, big projects, big studios, Mm -hmm. big whatever. But content has changed so much that I think we have more of a deeper appreciation now or love and passion for smaller content creation, yes. yeah. more documentary filmmaking, mm-hmm. more, you know, this definitely uh, more how to more authentic yeah. um, videos because you realize that industry, that big mm-hmm. structure of filmmaking, yeah. mm-hmm. Hollywood style filmmaking there's so much that goes into it. Mm -hmm. You have control over so little unless you're a studio head or a big famous director, Mm -hmm. but we get to play with all the same tools. Uh, You know, we get to do the same things. Yes. It's on a smaller scale, but we have creative control. We get to say what goes or not. Mm -hmm. So we're out of this interesting intersection of like, like we're filmmakers, we're passionate filmmakers. That's why I think problem solved looks and sounds the way it does. We produce it It, a certain way. It stands out because it, it looks different because it literally does look different. You know? A lot of people now different. shoot content on their phone, which is yeah. the perfect device for anyone to shoot. Because mm-hmm. like, what's the best camera? The one that you have on you, right? It's yeah. like, it's in your pocket. You have three lenses or more, right? Four lenses potentially with a front facing camera. It's like you, all the opportunity is there for anyone to create something. We just happen to have the history yeah. and like the, the knowledge of traditional filmmaking. Yeah, and the power that content creators have just on their mobile device, just with simple things you can get off of Amazon. I remember mm-hmm. making little videos when I was yeah. like a kid and teenager, and I had to use like house lights, right. and I had to use yeah. like my parents' camcorder. Mm-hmm. Now, like to make content, to put stuff out there, to mm-hmm. make videos is way more accessible. Oh, yeah. Both financially mm-hmm. and just like the ease of using the technology. Yeah. The barrier to entry is just you press upload. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it's so easy to create content. So that's why I say we're at this weird, unique intersection of mm-hmm. production can be super cheap and easy yes. enough for a 10 year old to do. Mm-hmm. And it can also be elegant and refined enough yeah. for you to need a degree or you need, uh, Which, not necessarily I'm saying go to school, but I'm saying you need some experience, you need some expertise, you need some artistry. Yes. And I think we fall somewhere in between. We mm-hmm. try to play in that that kid realm where it's yeah. just like we're using the bare minimum yeah. to try and just get the job done. And we're also trying to use our experience and there's, expertise. There's definitely, um, like you, you well, kept talking about like an intersection, which is true. And the interesting part for me is when we first started, you know, in film school, and this was over 10 years ago, it's the equipment just wasn't accessible mm-hmm. and it wasn't affordable either. I had to so, rent it from the camera department. Right. And they were very strict. Right. Yeah. And <laughs> like the equipment itself just wasn't 
good, right? It wasn't efficient. Like nothing mm -hmm. about it was easy to use. It got really hot, you know, very heavy. Um, back, all these things. If nobody so, knows. Back in the day, you would love to shoot on a red camera, but you could shoot like <laughs> ten minutes at a time. Right. That's how long the battery in the card mm -hmm. lasted. Yeah. Like minutes, mere yeah. minutes. And we, there was no LED lighting at the time, right? Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to do traditional filmmaking but nowadays very accessible uh lighting is far cheaper uh far more reasonable as far as like lightweight uh ness is concerned um so when it comes to actually shaping light because that's the whole thing it's you can have a camera but then it's getting the right look right so even with natural light you can shape it and make it look better um but again having like a controlled environment which we do now thankfully now <laughs> we have like an actual like set which makes it so much easier. But like I said, it's just the, the intersection of, okay, do we create content just with the phone? Mm -hmm. Or do we choose to like step up a little bit and differentiate ourselves by the way it looks, by using different lenses, by using a bigger sensor on a camera? Uh, th those are like the intangible things that a lot of people, they don't, they can't like put their finger on it necessarily unless mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But it does look different, and it has a different aesthetic and style. I think people can feel that. They may not be yeah. able to articulate it because right. they lack the vocabulary of filmmaking mm -hmm. and stuff. But I think people definitely feel it that, yeah. you know, what we're able cr to create and do together, mm -hmm. like, has a distinct look and style. Yeah. And that's intentional. That's on purpose. And there are videos <clears throat> um, that we've done kind of more recently just to fill out, like, your content which is shot on a phone mm -hmm. and you can you can tell if it's yeah. shot on a phone social media video quick mm -hmm. little reel quick right. little yeah but snippet. if if anyone wants to like compare and contrast like the look you know where it's like okay this was shot on a phone this was shot on you know the camera or whatever a professional camera um so it's different looks but at the end of the day it's the content mm -hmm. you know it's it's is it worth watching and i think th that's where the professionalism and the fun for me has been like to always do our best, to always use our professional skills to do mm -hmm. it, because there's far simpler ways for us to do what we <laughs> yes. do. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. even at this, I'm not saying I'm, you know, over, you know, really doing the most styling or the mm -hmm. prop curation and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think about how all the things tie and connect. Oh, you yeah. know, I'm like, oh, I want to plate this this way or mm -hmm. do this this way so it looks a certain way right. or feels a certain way. You know, I. There's a lot of intention I feel mm -hmm. like we put in, in every episode, mm -hmm. as simple as they may be. I know we sometimes do super silly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's definitely times we take a much easier approach yeah. because the topic might just be a little too outlandish or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's a little, you know, too much effort to actually do what we're, you know, saying we want to do, but we can still get the point across. Yeah. So it's it's just a matter of how we tell that story yeah uh, it makes me think of something that just happened recently that was so so fun um we pull in a lot for the for the show we pull in a lot of pop culture references mm -hmm. and you know things that we I all was, like yeah i was gonna bring that up um so we did a car bit recently and you one of your lights mm -hmm. can change colors to like oh, police yeah. lights it mm -hmm. has like effects on it mm -hmm. so we did this whole like police sec uh, you know police light segment and stuff so i love when we have fun like that we have yep. those moments where we put a little like extra creative energy mm -hmm. and effort into something because we had a wild right. idea and, and i think that's that's what's cool about right. making the show is sometimes we keep it very plain and basic and mm -hmm. deliver the information and other times we like play around and we have a good time with with the stuff that we have there's definitely a lot of mimicking that happens with uh, like video creation and i don't know if it's just uh, like what people just tend to gravitate to because it's very difficult to create something new mm -hmm. that no one's ever seen before it's a lot easier to go about something by having a blueprint right it's like well they did this it's successful i'm gonna do it pretty much exactly like that right and I, I get a, a kick out of um, watching like news reporters yeah. because everyone has like the same cadence, the same presentation, the same, all right. Because <laughs> it's, it's signing expected. Off, this is you what know? you do. Right. Yeah. And it's very traditional and it works for a reason. It, it works. But when, when we do things, I think it's fun when you're talking about bringing in just like references, like old references. Mm -hmm. No one told us to do that, right? <laughs> no one is telling us not to do it. We're just doing it. We we're just having fun. fun right i see i see this because like uh, you know maybe it's 
I don't know how this is much of this is planned because I've never been in these rooms or been in the situation. Mm -hmm. But it's like you know Pixar movies or any movie or whatever. They hide Easter eggs in it. Yeah, exactly. And you know that I, like, I think Easter that's eggs. what we're doing. Yeah. We're hiding our own Easter eggs yes. in there. We're hiding our own fun things in mm -hmm. there. And even though you know we just joked about this earlier today, is is videos will will have videos edited mm -hmm. and we would have filmed them like maybe two weeks ago three weeks ago yeah. sometime so we watch our own videos back and yeah. we're like oh my gosh uh, i forgot about that not yeah. to say that we're hilarious <laughs> but in the moment it's you, fun you to like laugh. add things yeah. that make ourselves laugh mm -hmm. later on yeah sometimes the audience picks up on it i mean mm -hmm. i don't think none of it's like an inside joke no it's just in the moment that yeah. we're like oh this would be funny this would be clever right. yeah. or you know we think it's interesting yeah but then we even see it back later and be like mm -hmm. i forgot about that right, exactly. that's hilarious yeah. so that's a knee slapper <laughs> you know one of those i i do enjoy um when people do comment about it though yeah. so that's that's the one thing <laughs> i will read comments and look for my sandlot reference it's like did anyone get it did, did david get lives it? for the one person who picks up on the one obscure thing because you he know wanted to do in a if video. one person comments out on how many people thought about it but didn't comment you know or how many people like was like oh yeah so you know if one person at least comments you're like all right it it and amongst ourselves we talk about this a lot but i think one thing a lot of our audience doesn't understand mm -hmm. is you know a few things about problem solved they think that the show was me <laughs> they think that yeah, it's, i it's just 100 percent make it my own self <laughs> and that's true which i appreciate and that's true <laughs> which i appreciate there's <laughs> a lot of knows. there's a lot of me in problem solved but since this was an initiative that was like handed down to us, mm -hmm. we kind of interjected our personalities yeah. into it. It wasn't, you know, me saying like, I have this idea and let's mm -hmm. do this. So it really is like an amalgamation of, right. of our past experiences, mm -hmm. our experiences together, the team we get to yeah. work with. But all, all translated through like my mouth yes. and my actions, I so, guess. So yeah, and, and people <laughs> just assume that you just have this like very eclectic personality, I yes, suppose. Yeah. Yeah. But it's but, really but like a lot four of the or five people fused into one. A lot of the personality is you, mm -hmm. of course, you know, me, Strawn's our director, and then our editors, we mm -hmm. have a, you know, a pool of editors that mm -hmm. we use too, and it's funny, episode to episode, they each have their own personality yeah. and, and style of editing, mm -hmm. and they're able to have creative freedom with this stuff right. too, so they'll even edit things in a certain yeah. way, then I'm like, that was so clever, yeah. that was mm -hmm. so cool, mm -hmm. so I appreciate, and this is uh, this is why I got into filmmaking, I love collaboration, and that's what's funny is that I guess I'm seen or known as like this individual creator, but <laughs> yes. that isn't the truth, mm -hmm. I'm doing this because I love the collaboration, because right. I love to tap into the talents mm -hmm. of so many different people and bring yeah. that together to create something fun and exciting, or cool and new and original or whatever, or, yeah. You know, so uh, I, I've always loved that about Problem Solved is that it, it may look like one person, right. but it really is the work and effort and talents of so many people. Yeah. I think that's that's just... Not so many. It's really just a handful. But anyway, right. Sorry. No, I'm saying like that's, that is kind of the, I don't know, that's the breaks, like yeah. them's the breaks, especially with Hollywood, because mm -hmm. you only know the director usually, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a J.J. Abrams production. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, there's a he whole everything. army of All people of behind there. Fault. Yeah. So it's it is interesting, and especially when we're out in public, like people will recognize you, and they don't see anyone else around you, which is funny because it could be the whole team of the like, yeah. problem solved team, but they'll recognize Christopher, and we'll all just be like, fade my, no, bushes. my first answer always is my first answer. The rare occasions where this has happened, my first answer is is like, oh, he shoots it, mm -hmm. um, he. He, he he directs it. That they but meanwhile, it. we're already like, <laughs> I'm like, it's a, come back, fade, come back, away. meet yeah. all of us, meet the yeah. whole gang, it's the whole crew. Uh. <clears throat> but oh yes, how how long has it been really? <laughs> Two years? I know. Well, three years. I, 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 that comes up to in, this point. Still going strong. That's a big factor of mm -hmm. why we've evolved the show so much, how we've added on elements, taken elements away, changed it up, is I get very, I, I, earlier I said I wanted to bring this back up, but you said bored. You don't want to get bored of the lighting. Oh, you right. don't want, yeah. like, you don't get burnt out, really. Yeah, don't want to get, so we keep changing the formula, change it, mm -hmm. keep it exciting and interesting for us. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope that translates to the audience and it's like new and refreshing for them. But selfishly, I think we do a lot of stuff for ourselves to make oh, ourselves sure. happy, the, to 
stay interested in the content yes. to to stay engaged in the content we yeah. change things for ourselves i i would agree because we i mean it's like you want to watch a very specific thing right so it's like why not create the content that you want to watch mm, yep true. which which is why we kind of interject so many like inspirations that like for me good eats was a huge inspiration for me watching good eats and if you watch good eats very similar <laughs> to like the camera angles like the very goofy camera work in that show like putting the camera inside of the refrigerator the oven the microwave like a lot of that for me like i got that from watching good mm -hmm. eats when i was a kid and i always thought that was just so fun i was like well nowadays the camera's so small of course I'm going to put it in the refrigerator, you know? Of course there's a GoPro in the freezer. Yeah, of course there is. Uh, we're filmmakers. <laughs> of of, of, of <laughs> yeah. course there's a GoPro in the freezer. Open the refrigerator door. Oh, yep, there's a camera in there. Right, exactly. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yeah. No, it's, I don't know. We, we, we have fun here. That's what I like to tell people. We have so fun. We have fun here. We yeah. have fun here. Uh, yeah. If uh, if you don't f feel like you have a job, you never put whatever the quote is, whatever the saying. <laughs> you is. don't work a day in your life. You I've never those. worked a day in my life. Yeah, <laughs> which is a lie. We've we've put in many hard working hours. I. That's exactly why I think we've simplified our process mm -hmm. is because the previous companies that David and I have come from and pre previous pro projects we've worked on together. Oh, we've been through the trenches. We've done. We've done the hours. We've, we've done, done the it time. All. <laughs> and it's not till recently that I mm -hmm. realized. I don't know. It's, it's sometimes you go through seasons of life where you become more self aware, or like mm -hmm. not self aware, but like maybe reflective of your career. More appreciative, probably. More appreciative. Yeah. But yes, I, I started to look back on those times where we would, uh, you know, have twelve hour days, fourteen mm -hmm. hour days. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. We would travel to one shoot, mm -hmm. sleep on the plane to show up in a new city and, and do another shoot. And we thought that was work. For so long, mm -hmm. we thought that being busy, always doing something mm -hmm. for multiple hours a day was work. Mm -hmm. And then this has been such a refreshing change. And I'm glad it's caught on and become mm -hmm. successful because out of all the stuff that we've spent so much time, energy, money, attention, passion yeah. into... Mm -hmm. To have it just kind of be a blip on the internet or <laughs> right, yeah. some cards we hand over to a business mm -hmm. that now we have something that has longevity. We still put energy and passion into it, but mm -hmm. it's it's done far more easily, far yeah. more simply, far more refined yeah. than any of that yeah. stuff we've done in the past. And not not to say that I don't appreciate it, mm -hmm. I really do. And well, sometimes I miss being busy and traveling on the road and stuff. Yeah. But well, a lot of those were one off <laughs> projects as yeah. well. So it's very difficult to to get better, like to see how much you've gotten better mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's a one-off project. Yeah. So it's like, it might have its own unique style and that was that one shoot. So you can't really compare apples to apples. Yeah. You can do things globally that might make things easier. You might get a, a different case mm -hmm. <laughs> that holds your equipment a little bit better, right? But when it comes to like actual production, you can't really evolve it because you only have that one opportunity. I, but for us, we've had years to yeah. kind of refine our process of how we actually produce a show. There's maybe there's something like philosophical in that where we've spent a majority of our career creating new stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to track how something has grown or changed. Yeah. Because every week, every month, it was something new for mm -hmm. someone different right. or some new purpose. Yeah. So you really had to mold that to whatever the individual experience is. Yeah. Whereas problem solved, there's a timeline. We can mm -hmm. see the episode one to right. episode probably, excuse me, we can see episode one to probably episode 5,000. I don't mm -hmm. know how many of these things we've yeah. made so far. Mm -hmm. But there's a clear like change oh, yeah. mm -hmm. across that spectrum. Yeah. Whereas I think our previous career function, mm -hmm. you can't really track that because no. everything was so individual and right. so nuanced and different but mm -hmm. this we've gotten to create the same thing over and over and over again yeah and see how that's progressed yeah and you can definitely tell um by your glasses like you can definitely tell like what era there's a lot of in. changes glasses yeah. teeth <laughs> right. other factors <laughs> haircuts <laughs> haircuts yeah well you're the like the one constant in everything that people so. can actually physically be like okay like like your hosting abilities have gotten like far better yeah, right from do. day one i still feel like an amateur but thank you well i mean i because when we first did it like i had to host a few episodes strong's had to host a few episodes we all kind of contributed because we were locked at home right during the pandemic and i'm sure 
like I was bad, but I'm sure I would have gotten better, right? <laughs> had yeah. I had I continued to host. What I did get better in was like filmmaking, like mm-hmm. lighting, right? So I definitely excelled in that, you know, in my in my skill tree of you know cinematography. Like I've I've done that. Is, you your skill tree in hosting. You've, this you this know, is the simulation where we're gaining skills yeah, and abilities gaining, we added to our. Yeah, which it makes sense when we all like come together and you know it's the 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 joys of working with you know people uh, for years right or at least on multiple projects like you get to know like how mm-hmm. everyone operates so just everything is easier at that point you just show up everyone knows their job it's very easy um but i'm sure if anyone out there who is maybe watching this if you're in the realm of filmmaking that's very rare very- <laughs> usually you show up to a set and everyone's a new day player very rare and that's what i have always loved about our, you know, working relationship and stuff is that like through so many projects, through so many experiences, Mm -hmm. like you develop that shorthand for communicating. Like there's certain things you don't have to say or do Mm -hmm. to communicate on set, to communicate your ideas. You just kind of like are able to get it and Mm -hmm. know. And then I think the other good thing too is like with any team or whatever, I think we push each other. We push ourselves to like do something different, either creatively or get outside of our comfort zone a little bit. I, maybe that goes on set or a little silent, but mm-hmm. I've definitely felt it where like you definitely encourage me to be a better host or like give me some there, tips and pointers about yeah. how to say things or how to do things. And I'm like, oh, that wasn't just a one-off comment for this line, yeah. this scenario, like, mm-hmm. oh, this is a way for me to get better, yeah. you know? And a lot of that comes from just also being an editor as well. Yeah. Like while I'm recording it, like you can't see what's on the monitor. <laughs> Right? And that's, it could be something as easily as like, it's probably a good thing. Right? It's like, it could be something like there's something in your teeth, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's like, we're gonna have to do that again. And you're just like, oh no, it's like, oh, well, yeah. like something in the background might've been messed up or, you know, so it's not necessarily that it was just, yeah. you know, a bad delivery well, of the line. Or like that's our shorthand too. If I say go again or like another, mm-hmm. that means I messed up. But if yeah. you say it, usually it's because you want something I messed different. Something up. A lot of not times that it's, a it's like a camera up, movement. You know, not, it could be yeah. better. Yeah. A lot of times it's 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 because you want something yeah. different, not because mm-hmm. in in the beginning I remember that you're like, yeah. oh, do that, you know, another or whatever, and I was like, what did I do wrong? And you're like, <laughs> you're not doing anything wrong. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> I just need to improve. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to get something better to mm-hmm. my liking. It's the yeah. same thing. Like, so that's kind of one of those shortcuts mm-hmm. we've kind of developed. Where like we're not yeah. getting upset at yeah, each other. No. We're not thinking the other one's blaming. It's no. just kind. Of, and I think that's that that's been a good thing to shed hosting problem solve is being so self-conscious of everything mm. being so like did i say that okay was that good was yeah. that okay should i say it differently mm-hmm. you're like if something's weird you'll tell me it's weird right i'll just say it until mm-hmm. you say something and yeah. i'm like oh, okay well never mind i'll say it again and i think that's just in general um people who kind of do like filming or like recording of another person photographers especially like you don't want to portray someone in a bad light Mm -hmm. you want them to look as good as possible so i mean for one you'll get hired again like that's the ultimate right like this person made me look like crap (laughs) thank you to the editors they have done the most work (laughs) which ironically enough it was it was just the last episode (laughs) that came out the auto show you were like really you use this angle which to be fair i didn't shoot that that wasn't me but it it is you know kind of up to whoever's you know, putting the show together mm-hmm. to put them in the best light because they could use the bad takes, all of the, right? All and, the and garbage. It could be interesting. It could be funny. Who knows? <laughs> uh, but but there's something about it where it's like, no, like we're on this quest to do it as perfect as possible <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. But that's the fun, I think. And those, I've always tried to toe this line. Mm-hmm. You brought up news, mm-hmm. newscasters very staccato, like this is how you say it, this is Mm -hmm. how you do it, this is how you present it. I've always tried to not be, I guess guess I've tried to just be myself (laughs) and not be a character, not Mm -hmm. be a host, not be a whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's the interesting thing about Problem Solved. It's partially me, it's partially your personality, it's partially Mm -hmm. our team's personality, but even in my individual hosting style, Mm -hmm. I want it very loose and casual and natural. I'm a little awkward. I'm a little, (laughs) like, I flub words sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just like right now. Like, (laughs) I overproduce saliva. (laughs) (laughs) 
I always burp between takes. Like I'm human. Okay, I'm yes, I'm human. I don't. I try to not be like mm-hmm. super polished and yeah. super scripted mm-hmm. and super like this is how I say it. And and, and I, I well, even have you have you gotten that sense of like like being a host now, like watching celebrities because celebrities get picked apart all the time mm-hmm. for giving like a flub of a line when yeah. they're at an award ceremony. It's like, do you know how nerve wracking that is yeah. to stand in front of like a thousand people it's, and yeah. be perfect? Like that's, uh, that's a lot of yeah, nerves Yeah, I going think on. there's this misconception that if you're on camera, if you're some kind of personality, like you that should people, be so that professional. That you should be like so perfect, yeah. so polished, that's so whatever. not true. So I've, I've <laughs> tried to a little bit like let mm. go of that expectation. Yeah. You know, I want it to be good. I want it to be clear. I want it mm-hmm. to be consistent. Yeah. But I also want to be me. I right. want to retain yeah. as much of my own personal integrity mm-hmm. as yes. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that safety net exists, though, right? Yeah. And that's something that, like, I'll tell people all the time. It's like, don't even like just say say like you know say the lines. If you mess up, mm-hmm. that's fine. We we plenty of time. Like we can edit it. We can make it look great. We can make it sound great. You know, just. Try to be as yeah, and it gets you know, easier. as relaxed as possible. It gets easier. It gets better. Because I remember in the beginning, it would take us so long to mm-hmm. get like you know just one topic done, or yeah. like just the filming we needed to do just took so long. Mm-hmm. But as you get comfortable with it, mm-hmm. as you start learning your shortcuts and your yeah. your ways to navigate the content, like mm-hmm. it just gets easier. Yeah, and, and I'm sure after seeing it edited. Yeah. Like you are much better at saying like, oh, okay, like that's a good way to segue into mm-hmm. a next, you know, our next topics. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of that comes from us just watching the different kinds of shows that we watch because, of course, now uh, problem solved has definitely evolved, right? It, originally, it was just like the one-off short segments, like the sixty-second, you know, kind of clips, and that was all mostly social media, like on the main website, um, on USA Today dot com. And now you can watch on YouTube. It's a whole show mm-hmm. where you go on an adventure, right? So it's it's a much different, more evolved uh, show. And and we get a lot of um, inspiration. So I was telling you for the uh, the interview segments where you do like the comment responses. Mm-hmm. I got my lighting inspiration from the Kardashians. You know, oh, yeah. it's like I'm a huge fan of the Kardashian <laughs> cinematographer. Yeah. You know, not the show necessarily, but, but- the <laughs> cinematography. Pieces, you know? I think that's a perfect example of like, you know, not to, to downgrade the show or whatever, but it's mm-hmm. this reality show about the Kardashians. Right. But you can appreciate the cinematography, the work mm-hmm. and the effort from really creative, really talented side, yeah. people mm-hmm. who make that show. Right. And I feel like they're kind of the same. It's like mm-hmm. what they're creating isn't ultimately, you know... It's not Maybe the most the, revolutionary the ultimate, yeah, show. The passion, but they're but, having fun with what yeah. they're doing. They're mm-hmm. putting their best effort with I what love, they're doing. I love seeing no how they is. executed. Like, how did they tell this story? Yeah. Like, this event that could have taken place all week. Mm-hmm. How did they do it? And, like, dissecting it, figuring out, oh, okay, when they're doing their, you know, confessionals. Yeah. Like, how, how did they phrase that? How did they set it up to segue into, like, the next yeah. scene, you know? Um, like, those are all the, I don't know, nerdy things that, you know, we can kind of talk about but then it really you know comes out when we read the comments Mm -hmm. because then it's like the appreciation of like oh thank goodness it's working you know (laughs) like people enjoy it and it's not a prideful thing i think we say like oh we don't want to be the same as everybody else it's Mm -hmm. it's not so much that like i appreciate the type of con different types of content the way Mm -hmm. that the creators are creating it but it's very much that thing i can tell when they're trying to copy somebody else right and mm-hmm. like because they're somebody else is successful as it mm-hmm. at it versus them doing it because they appreciate yeah. something or mm-hmm. they want to pay homage or reference mm-hmm. something you know there's there's a difference there oh yeah and i think the corkiness especially with our show like there's a lot of like i don't know if there's a better way for the the cork uh <laughs> what would it camp there's camp, camp. like we've it's, got a little camp in camp. our show yeah. that's true which i very much appreciate because i feel like people especially when it comes to social media, like putting yourself out there and you are very, a good sport <laughs> about like us kind of like, ma- like having you say things, yeah. not making you say things. Cause there, there are certain things where you're like, that's not my brand. Not but my brand. when, when we are able to like do a little joke or a little mm. like, Oh, that's, you know, you broke the fourth wall kind of thing. Like those are the things that I think sets our content different because people might be a little too scared mm-hmm. to like really be themselves because yeah. It's just like, like I don't know. It's like we've gotten to a point now where we're kind of comfortable being ourselves. Comfortable. So it's it's probably it's a, a lot little easier. more shameless than we used to be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Um, and people enjoy it. Like yeah. people definitely leave comments about it. So that's, it's again, it's something that I would respond to. So I'm glad that I can now contribute to making content that people do resonate with. And yeah. it's something that people aren't typically doing. Yeah. Just mic drop that. That's it. <laughs> and that's, that's it for today. That's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> back to you. Back, speaking of news, <laughs> back to you in the booth, yeah, John. Back to you. Oh man, that's yeah. Where where can the show go? Is the other question. Like, what's what's left? Like, we've obviously evolved the show mm -hmm. to what it is now. What's next? Like a year into problem solved and now we're several years into problem solved mm -hmm. we looked at each other and said i think we've hacked out everything <laughs> we've, we've there's done no all. other ways yeah. that you can put vinegar on something to clean it <laughs> that like, one comment it was like year into this <laughs> yeah, one year there was one com i forget who said it but they said like this man's about to pickle his entire house because <laughs> oh, yeah. there's so this, much vinegar yeah. like, this yeah, man's using so much vinegar he's gonna pickle his whole entire house but no, we've definitely gotten to this place right now. And to reiterate, evolving, mm -hmm. I think that's how we've kept interested in it is we switch up how we're producing topics. We switch up how do we ideate things, how we produce things, and even a change of environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get bored easily. So, you know, <laughs> just switching our environment makes things feel better and mm -hmm. new and fresh. And then yeah. you get a new idea, a new inspiration mm -hmm. from somewhere. So... Uh, every time I think this is it, we've tapped, we've tapped the, the baking soda well. I think, <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. We were talking about your glasses earlier, but I do think a wardrobe change is the next evolution okay. of problem solved. Bow ties. I want, I want to see lab coats. I want to see, <laughs> I want to see astronaut outfits. Well, after this, we'll have another conversation on integrity and what's my brand. <laughs> what is it's Christopher's not brand. brand? Not my brand. <laughs> this is not my brand. <laughs> lab coats, not my brand. Actually, I do love a lab coat. So a good maybe... lab coat. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> I'll go back to my true inspiration. You, you had mentioned uh, Good Eats. <clears throat> yeah, it was like Bill Nye, Beekman's World, like mm -hmm. that. Like those were the shows where, I was like, if I could make this one day, mm -hmm. I would love like to be a part of this process. Yeah. And now I'm basically getting to do it. Yeah. So a PBS lab, show. lab coat PBS show PBS reading show rainbow supported. Let's bring it back. By viewers. That is now the goal, the passion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring it's back like, PBS because, yeah. Oh, I think we need more classic, of that in our world. Yeah. We need more wholesome, educational, but fun, quirky. creative, quirky. <laughs> we need more of it. Bring back Nickelodeon cartoons. All right. Well, that's that's our mission. <laughs> it's our and, mission. And, we, and we've signed up for it. We'll be our own PBS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. This is that Mrs. Doubtfire show, you know, Problem. where she had the dinosaur show, or he. PBS. Or Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can yeah. see that. Yeah, I always watch that show when I'm like. So you <gasps> say this. No, I'm there coming back be. as oil. We're, we're going. <laughs> there will be a, a. Okay. Maybe I won't announce it here. <laughs> no. Don't, but there will be changes. Don't say it. There will be a next iteration of this show. I hope it comes in. I want to have okay next podcast. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll see. It's getting off the rails a little bit, but talking to our producer on the it's it's you know like uh, shows TV shows would rebrand. Mm -hmm. I was I'm thinking like Zach and Cody, and then like Zach and Cody below deck. Yes. So like yeah, I yeah. feel like that's coming. It's like problem solved. Problem solved. Like whatever the. <laughs> The in parentheses thing is yeah. too. So it's like saved by the bell, but then they had the college years. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That evolution, that change, that switch is coming mm -hmm. for us at some point. Although, although I will so for a lot of those shows, that was like because it was coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, yeah, we're gonna have problem solved <laughs> and then the sequel problematic. <laughs> problematic. Okay, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> it's the, the rehab show the, the road i was going down led somewhere i wasn't intending but anyways <laughs> lots more to come mm -hmm. problem solved has been a fun journey so far mm -hmm. and uh we're we're figuring things out yeah. every every day week to week yeah this this is where your brand lives okay. problem yeah. solved is a culmination of people this is yeah you yeah this is where people can find out about you that's true <laughs> that's true how yeah. we got here. How did we get here? I don't know. <laughs>
Tune in next episode. <laughs> Odd series of events or whatever the name is. Mm-hmm. A series, a of, series unfortunate... of, of fortunate. Oh, a series of fortunate yeah. events. Yeah. There we go. I like that. Alrighty then. <laughs> that was great. Let's go make more. <laughs> Rub <Rob> himself. <laughs>